Hey guys, welcome. I'm Bunny Tails, and this is Mochi. Say hi, Mochi. Mochi wanted to join me to record this intro. As you might have guessed, we're going to be playing the Night Springs DLC. We're going to be playing through all three of them. Today will be the first episode, and then the other two episodes will be coming out in the next week or so. I really do hope you guys are going to enjoy these. I'm a huge fan of Remedy and all the games that of theirs that I've played, which is basically just Alan Wake, Alan Wake 2, and Control, but I do want to be going into more of their stuff eventually. Uh, so yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get the time to do that, but I just love the stuff that Remedy does. They're just so good. And I'm very excited to get into Night Springs. So here's episode one of Night Springs DLC. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the comments. Bye. Okay, so we want to go to expansions and then Night Springs. Episode one, two, and three. Episode one is called Number One Fan. Dude, this is why I didn't want to plug you in. This thing's so touchy. Okay. As I was saying. All right. We do. We do it. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee. An abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. That's delusion. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one. Ah, we're talking about Rose. The only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what Bless her soul. Would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs. Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Best pie in town. Night's Diner. I want pie. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something and then bam destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago <sighs> but that's okay when your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany colored velvet you don't really mind how it arrives day didn't start off with all that excitement it began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of night springs as always night's diner was the hottest spot in town so there was plenty of work to do okay well we're rose i couldn't remember who we played as in these dlcs i remembered Jesse and Tim Breaker, and uh, I guess the other one is Rose, which is exciting. We get to tend, attend to some customers. Oh, what's in here? Storage, can't get in, even though it says employees only, and I am an employee. Oh, I live here. Hey, it's hmm. oh yeah, that's me. Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Oh, of yeah. Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right okay. here, please. Wait, oh, God. One for me, please, and thank you. There's no coffee. Oh. Let me just 
grab a fresh pot. Oh man. Wait, I just got home from work and attending customers. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. This is wacky. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that writer was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Best fan site in the whole world. On the whole internet. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. So humble. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. Not with that attitude. You won't be with that attitude. <laughs> I was just saying Life's this last not night. A side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow, that's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. I want hash browns. Anybody that's else want coffee? coffee? Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. Loved? But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie. Oh my. I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. Oh, shucks. Oh, man. Duty calls. Well, have to get fantasizing later. <gasps> Look at that pie. My corgis exclusively eat food from this diner. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? What happened? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? Personality is all that matters. Yeah, sure. Right. Show them the real you and it will all work out. Talk about that mole you worry about when you're trying to fall asleep. Well, I'll try that. Thanks a million. <laughs> Don't mention it. See, we'd all love to think that's how the world works, but that's not how the world really works. <laughs> By and large, no. Is Knight's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. <laughs> okay. What? The writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. Yes, true. I better yes, take these we do. back to the service window. Oh, whose burger is waiting? Excuse do we me. have any kitchen Can staff? I borrow you? You may. Yes, sir. I may help you. What can I get you? Hi. 
Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. Oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. I'll grab you a copy from the back. Get the novel from storage. Is it... Mm. Which which is the third one? Is it, it return? Is it initiation? I I don't remember. Departure is from the first game. Speaking of books, I'm so happy. Increase any pages. Just buy another one. You probably have twenty copies anyways. I'm almost done with the the third book of the Han Solo trilogy that I've been working on. Uh, for like. I don't know, years? <laughs> and I have 100 pages left, so I'm really excited. I've really been getting back into that. Hey, Mama Merlin, how's my day going? Awesome. Very good. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait. Didn't we see one of her drawings before in the base game? When we went to the, uh... The old folks home, what's it called? Yeah, she's she's a good artist. She's a good artist. <laughs> okay, what do we have here? Beat Poetry Night at Night's Diner. Night's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Night Springs every Friday at 8 p.m. Oh, that sounds fun. Whoops, I didn't mean to close out of that. I'm going to look at something else. Employee of the Decade Award in recognition of in recognition of basically being the best at like everything presented to everyone's favorite waitress if not everybody is caught on yet this is definitely some sort of fantasy world the diner that rose works at is called oh dear diner and this is called knight's diner so not really sure exactly what this is okay two can do it Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. <laughs> Rose is very special. That's all I'll say. <laughs> that is all that I will say. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city. Will Hunt by America's best-selling writer. Interesting. Interesting. Is, is it not Alan? In this little strange reality that's going on right now? Right, we need another pep talk. Where's my face? Where's, where's my face? It looks like the back of her head. That's creepy. We're leaving here immediately. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. But weren't we supposed to grab a book? Where is it? Get the novel from storage. Storage. I must have missed something. Hold on. It's me, Jesus. Your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. 
My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. My goodness, that <laughs> scared me a little bit. Okay, I guess, you know, I, I was going to grab you the book, but my favorite writer is in trouble, so. Sucks for you. Why am I the only one who works here? Who's cooking this food? What's this? Potatoes? Oh, they make fresh french fries from like actual put fresh potatoes. They ha we have some bread. Peppers and onions. Oh, they're the pies. I love the pastel color palette. Mixer. We're cooking some burgers. Someone's cooking burgers. I don't know. Maybe the burgers. My accessories. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. We're just gonna close that. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. Activate shotguns fully automatic fire mode by holding down R2. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. There was no time to waste. The shortcut through the boatyard was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. There's something very appealing about, like, cute, like, I don't know, cute, adorable, tiny little girly girls doing violence. Right? Right? <laughs> oh, we looped around. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Thank you, thank you. Yep, just doing my nice beard. Damn. How long did it take you to grow that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. Well. I don't know who's gonna serve you guys because I'm literally the only person who works here, but the have fun. Is this way. You better hurry. Go through the boatyard. It's the shortest road. Even the sky is pink. This way? Follow the cheering crowd. <laughs> this was my moment. What? My chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. Run the diner while you're gone. Or we'll be way worse at it. One waitress plus one rider equals forever. life behind like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it nothing would get between me and my future with the writer where am i going head to the boatyard Oh 
Oh my god. This is amazing. Did have I mentioned before, you know, I I don't know if I've spoken about it before ever on this stream, but um have I ever mentioned that I love remedy? <laughs> I think I've only mentioned it about like 500 times so you guys might have missed it but I love Remedy <laughs> Now, who the heck is that? I knew you'd come to his rescue Who are you? That's Alan Wake So who's the writer in this little scenario? This is so strange are you and why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer oh don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack sure i may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother but we can't all be perfect i had no idea he had a brother to think there were two of him all this time <laughs> after today there won't be no more writer no more books no more living in a shadow. <laughs> this is great. This is how Sarah Connor is dressed as a waitress in the first Terminator. Wait, really? How close is it? It might be a reference because like they definitely referenced um, probably a lot of things. But most notably, or the ones that I know of is it's um definitely a big reference to twin peaks the tv show twin peaks as well as more recently that i found out when i watched in the mouth of madness john carpenter's in the mouth of madness that this is very much that as well so i definitely would not be surprised if rose's uniform is based off of sarah connor definitely all right but he's your brother Bye his brother i'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common and after you change you can move in together and i'll come over with popcorn for movie nights he had his chance for popcorn and movie nights but he wanted to keep everything for himself too bad you know what they say if you can't join him beat him beat your brother what did you do to him I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die that stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun or I have love. Well, you guys know what I have to, to say, right? I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun. <laughs> well, I gotta... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Okay, I admit, that's a... I didn't expect that. Yeah, throw, <clears> throw <throat> a curveball at but you, huh? it doesn't matter. You can't stop all of us. <laughs> Jesus. If only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. <laughs> okay. morning. Where is the olive oil? Okay, this is... Oh yeah, R2. Let's try it. After we get hit by this... Okay, I'm... actually I need to heal. Do I have heals? Oh, I have these. I have the crappy heals. Oh no, it's actually a fast heal. Please stop.
Hey. We good? Let's see what's over here. Try reading real books. Here we go again. And it's over. I am reading a book. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. A sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those leaders We're just, we're fighting the haters. Nice. I'll just pretend these people are that small minority of my YouTube commenters that are complete assholes. <laughs> and when I talk the negativity, ne negatively about youtube commenters it's mostly about the ones on the react channel because they are absolutely god awful they make the the worst commenters on the gaming channel look like like saints <laughs> all right um the twins motorcycle had left tracks in the mud i recognized the tread pattern immediately Thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. <laughs> and then the music just ends. <laughs> This is this makes me really wonder how the um more haters more haters my guns hungry hard to oh my god i'm i'm really upset right now me and my i really want to snipe this guy but this thing just does not seem great at sniping whoops got to put more bullets in Because I need to re oh my need, still need to reload. I really feel like I should have played. I mean, I still could, but I never played Alan Wake's um, American Nightmare. So I was I'm sure it's probably got some crazy stuff going on in there too. Croissant. 
more layers than an onion maybe american nightmare is also not very long you could do it in one stream well shoot let's do it provided that my current computer can can run it might have to wait until after i get husbando gets my computer upgraded what do we have here all the tears of the angels in heaven were falling over this city she wore the rain like a funeral shroud she was in sad state this city of mine but she was still mine the filthy prison i called home i was here for a reason joe bullets capone he was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while i stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette but that didn't matter the only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had a bad night coming his way, and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze-soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You! He reached for the pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of his holder b holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. He gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving my body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. Had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him through the twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe! I caught up to him as he was dropping the other side, dropping down the other side of a chain link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against a window. I clutched the thin metal, scrambled over it. The jagged ends were of wire ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin. The pain was welcome. Dang it. I dropped down into the alley and ran like a panther. At every blind corner, I expected a trash can lid to the face. None came. Maybe bullets hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him. A trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go of the door handle. Hands up as they go. Hands as up as they go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try talk yeah yeah sure thing sure bullets lunged for his ankle a crack of lightning from my hand and he was down in the gutter clutching his belly i walk over calm as snow i stood over him watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater you talk i call an ambulance his words were having a hard time getting through the pain you're insane, man. Insane! I raised my gun levels with his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay, okay. You want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against the pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan, if I don't make it, then I just want you to know that... 
No, I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. I left the alley, told a waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. Okay, so this is like... Something was taken out of the story and a message to Rose was placed there instead. Or something. I'm, I'm actually quite confused, but... The motorcycle yeah. tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? Life is not unlike a highway. I bet he's doing all this because he's hopped up on steroids. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. <laughs> what? I'll be taking that. Ooh, do we get to watch something on the telly? No. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. Mister, where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. How dare he? He had crossed the line. <laughs> I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Torture ideas for hack brother. Car battery. Solid potential. Pulling fingernails. Too messy. The bell. Where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon. Nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters. A plus psychological damage. Wind said he was down at the beach. Gasoline slash fire. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. Oh, that's just the... Okay. I can't see. It's too dark. Hmm. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? But isn't the sea and the ocean... Literally... The same thing? Do I have a flashlight? Because I really... I, I have to get down to that beach and get my rider back. Oh, I found something. Nope. No, I just closed... I just locked myself in here. All right, let's get out of here. I don't know where we are. A closet, a bathroom. I literally can't tell. Let's go to the beach. How do I get... How do I get out of here? Uh-oh. There we go. Not this beach. This beach. Okay. La -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm 
Shiro. Now. No, it's not. Okay. It's charged. I'm gonna disconnect it because this cord is is fucking with me. Here we go. Hey. Me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Tell me where he is. Where is my writer? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd, Hush he's... your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Tell me or else. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? I'll scold you. You asked for it. You are rude, you have no manners, your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard for that outfit. You... No, stop, I don't like being seen. Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! No! <laughs> <laughs> he tripped me. My famously keen perception. Jeez, <laughs> that's not cherry pie. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise and just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. 
I believe in you. My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. The stakes had never been higher. Let's do this. All right, you, I mister. Stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. <laughs> That is not good. Oh, that was really not good.
We survived it. That wolf was really annoying. kill him <laughs> Do I have the option to kill him oh it won't let me it won't let me shoot him I'm not going to kill you you're my darling writer's brother you really do love him huh I guess I never even had a chance I was just jealous of his talent his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Well, I am the world's best everything, apparently. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. Let's go save our boy. Might have got them all. No, hello. But I heard footsteps. Tell 
them to have better manners, Rose. You tell him. What's this? That writer isn't going to kiss himself. <laughs> <laughs> Inventive murder weapons. Stap oh, ideas for next book. Inventive murder weapons. Stapler. Lawn gnome. Swordfish. Philosophy. Escalate the crime. Plunge the depths of humanity's darkness. A murder religion? Hero's motivation? A rival private eye? His wife returns from the dead, only to be killed a second time? Too much? Not enough? A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, and good with a gun. Smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. Hair slash beard regimen twice a week. Okay, guys. Guys with beards. I don't have time to admire my writer's taste and decor. Yes, we do. We we always have time. Take notes, guys. This is how you get a beautiful Alan Wake beard. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Gotta get the micro threads, okay? Brush three times with honeycomb bought locally at the farmer's market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. Rinse with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Condition often. General rules. Never wear hats. Once a month, rub three mixed eggs bought locally at the farmer's market into damp hair, scalp, and beard. Avoid chlorine heat, and inexperienced barbers. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the secret. It's the honeycomb. Locally, locally sourced from the farmer's market. We were finally alone <laughs> together. <laughs> Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. And other planet he told me stuff. All the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. Reflected in his eyes, I would always be at his side to inspire and protect him. <laughs> he needed me now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. A fan. And the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. So DLCs, I'm also Rose, right? Right? <laughs> that was a lot of fun because, first of all, it was just the quirky remedy that that we all love, or at least that I do. They're not afraid to go out there and just do whatever the heck they want that sounds fun, basically. And it was nice to get, like, just a shit ton of ammo to be able to just go crazy on things instead of having to like really be very careful and conservative with all your shots. You could kind of go a little bit crazy. Of course, not too crazy because you don't want to get stuck reloading like all the time, but that was really cool. And Rose is amazing. I absolutely love Rose. I l whoever the actor for Rose who does her voice as well as um, like the motion capture is great. And her facial expressions are the best and my favorite part of that whole Z dlc that whole um episode was when she did the little skip 
out of the when she was going into the boat um area that was my favorite part <laughs> okay let's do the next one <laughs> 